Hello everyone, welcome back to Coffee Query. If you have watched the last video, I have created a customer in Stripe from Laravel, and of course, view in the front end, and charge that customer in Stripe. Now, in this video, I will show you how to refund that charge in Stripe from Laravel, okay? Yeah, before going further, let me explain something. Now, in, in this exam, example which I'm working, we have one local user in our database and one customer related to that user in Stripe. It's, uh, it can be um, that multiple customers in Stripe can be attached to one local user in our database, but we say one customer in Stripe is attached to one uh, user in our local database, okay? But a single customer which is created in Stripe can be charged multiple times from our application due to multiple orders. For example, if we have a e-commerce application, our customer create a user account with us and add their cart and, and, and he can uh, place multiple orders by only uh, one single uh, cart, okay? Yeah, let's start. Uh, for this, well, I need to create a new file, name it uh, refund charge, okay? Refund charge, if I go to the app.js, I need to just create customer. Uh, Refund charge, and if I go to welcome dot billet, refund charge. If I refresh the page, if this is career customer, let me. Uh, Make some changes here. For refunding, we don't need cart information, okay? We just uh, uh, create a, a charge in Stripe and we get that, uh, and we get that charge ID and store in our local database. For refunding, we just send that charge ID to Stripe. Refund charge. And on submit, okay, we do need this part. This is submit. And the post charge uh, refund. And this can be a, a get request, okay? Because we don't need any data to send to the server. Uh, now, if you go to the API charge, charge refund, okay? Charge refund and refund charge. We create this route. And if you go to the charge controller, uh, we need a new function, name it. Uh, refund charge okay 
there is no data coming and this is uh, get method okay so strat charge instead of charge we create a refunds create in the charge id this should be the charge id get the first user and and we charge that we we send the customer id and we charge that ca this customer this here in this variable we have a uh, charge id yeah we create an order which uh, charge id will be attached to that order okay so in the front end in the charge customer if you go to the mm, charge customer here in charge customer we send the amount I will add another field here in the charge customer here form here should be order uh, title okay order title and this is the order title yeah order title it might be a smart phone okay the amount may be uh, five hundred dollars okay and we submit this in charge controller when we charge our customer we need to have a, yeah a, an, an an order table php artisan make uh, model order with the migration to this migration orders orders table we here we have a string order title and a string charge id yeah that's it that's all PHP artisan my great refresh PHP artisan DB and now in the models here a uh, user can have one user can have multiple orders okay if you come here we will create a relationship for this public function uh, user return this mm, has many has many order okay has many order this user can have many orders and this order public function mm, sorry here this this is not user or less and this is user okay return this belongs to belongs to what belongs to user class okay 
Yeah, now uh, in the charge controller, when we uh, here we create a customer and we store the yeah we update our user table and store the stripe the, the, the customer ID in the user table and then in the charge customer here we find the first user and we get that customer ID and send it to Stripe okay okay we mm, create an order is equal to new order okay and uh, order dot title uh, dot order so dot order title is equal to request dot order title in the order uh, mm, charge ID is when we create this R here we should have a, a user ID as well uh, here order user ID is equal to this user ID order save okay mm, yeah let me refresh more the, the migration do you see it if we go now to the front end and we need to this is charge customer first first we need to create a customer in stripe we you will come create customer if i check the if i check stripe website let me see the list of created customers sorry my internet is a little slow uh, if name is Zia email is Zia Gmail and the card is 42 42 42 let me Zia 1 Zia 12 if I submit we need to go to the welcome.blade here and we replace this create to charge customer if I refresh customer yeah here this is the um, we charge uh, the created customer order for example it's a computer the value or the price is for Hundred, we submit. Yeah, uh, created. We charged. We charged a customer. So if I go to the, this is the user table orders. Here should be a record. Yeah, this is computer is created. This is the charge ID and this is the user ID. User one is, has placed this order. Okay. Now what we do here in the refund. charge yeah when we submit we will refund charge controller what we do in the refund and refund charge function what we do here smoother okay submit Yeah, refund is created. The amount, yeah, this is the amount, 2,000. Okay. 
this is two thousand dollar which i uh, which is which is paid by this customer and this is refund now okay if i try again this will this charge id will say that this is already refunded let me try submit yeah charge uh, this id has already been refunded yeah that's all okay thank you for watching if you like this kind of tutorials uh please subscribe to this channel and i will and i will create more tutorials like this thank you bye